On this video, I'm going to go over the properties of equality and how you use them when you are solving equations. So first, the addition property of equality. If I have this equation I want to solve for m, I need to move this minus 3. So you want to think, how do I move the minus 3 to the other side so that m is by itself? Because so we want this all by itself. So in order to move something to the other side of the equal sign, you always do the opposite, the inverse operation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the inverse of subtracting 3, which is to add 3. So you might know this from when you first learned these one-step equations like this, but maybe they didn't talk to you about why you can add three on both sides of the equation. And the why is the addition property of equality. The addition property of equality allows you to add the same number on both sides of the equation and it doesn't change the value for that variable. So if I subtract three minus three plus three, that cancels out and I have m equals 23. So that's my answer, but I was able to find that answer using the addition property of equality. So that's the same for the one on the right. If I want to get x by itself, but there's this plus 4, I'm going to move that plus 4 to the other side of the equation by doing the inverse, the opposite operation. So the opposite, the inverse of adding 4 is to subtract 4. So I'm going to subtract 4 from both sides in order to solve. The reason I was able to subtract 4 from both sides is the subtraction property of equality. The subtraction property of equality allows me to subtract the same number on both sides of the equal sign. Now let's talk about multiplication and division. So these are very similar. For the one on the left, if I want to solve for m, I need to undo this dividing by 3. So to do that, I'm going to do the opposite, the inverse of dividing, which is to multiply. So I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by 3 because 3 divided by 3 is 1. And I'm left with m equals 30. So again, the answer is m equals 30, but how I was able to come to that answer was using the multiplication property of equality, which allows me to multiply both sides of the equation by the same number. Now, the one on the right, I want to solve for x, but x is being multiplied by 4, so I'm going to undo that multiplying by 4 by doing the inverse of multiplying, which is to divide, because 4 divided by 4 is 1, and you have to do this on both sides of the equal sign. So again, I find out the answer, x equals 5, but the reason I was able to find out that x equals 5 was I use the division property of equality, which allows me to divide both sides of the equation by the same number.